good morning. We're starting this vlog off a little differently. Uh, today is my theriogenology midterm, so I'm actually going to go study for that now. Uh, I'm not ready for midterm week. It feels like it's cropped up on me too fast. And so much has happened this week that I have even had a mental break to actually study. So it hasn't been fun. But we're going to do our best today. It's a 45 question exam and I have an hour to take it in. So I'm going to go prepare and start this midterm week off right. I am back from the theriogenology midterm. It went pretty well. It's just kind of frustrating because we had a different professor teaching us than our original professor. Well, we really had no idea what to expect question-wise, and it was a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. But I still think overall I did really well. I'm gonna take a break and get ready for a long weekend of studying, which I'm not looking forward to because again, like I've said before, we've had zero time to study this week. So I have even started studying my next midterms and I have five in a row next week. So it's a stressful time, but we're going to do it and it's going to be fine. back from campus. It's around 11 o'clock now and today has just been so draining and I have no idea how I'm going to get through the rest of this week because there's just so many things that are going on and I have so many deadlines. I also found out this past week where I will be attending my clinical school. So that reaction will come out soon as I get a confirmation from the school, just to make sure that's actually the school I'm going to. It honestly came at the worst time <laughs> because we were dealing with midterms. I do have a rabies symposium that I signed up for for tomorrow. Honestly, I'm debating whether or not to stay here at home during the morning and like early afternoon just so I can do the conference in peace and quiet, along with also studying, so I'm not distracted on campus. I am also in the process of finishing off my research abstract to submit for the research day here on the SGU campus. So I have a lot of things going on. I do have to edit a vlog this weekend as well to post next Friday. Just a lot is going on, and I'm trying to de-stress a little bit by watching some movies and shows, but honestly, my brain is so tired now that I just need to go to bed and get up again tomorrow and do it all over again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The conference has officially ended and it went super well today. Some of the information was so good and so useful, especially for like rabies prevention and what the rabies laws are in the US. We're taught kind of a small portion in vet school and I really wanted to learn more about it because Rabies is just one of those diseases that's probably never going to be eradicated, but I'm hoping it can be better controlled. It really is controlled quite a bit in the US nowadays, but there still are some outbreaks here and there that CDC announces. I really enjoy doing conferences and symposiums to learn more information about public health and zoonotic diseases because that is my main interest in veterinary medicine. 
It especially helps when I am preparing to study for my midterm or final exams because it gives me more motivation for my end goal. That's kind of why I decide to do symposiums and conferences as much as I can as a vet student. It's not always possible and it really does put time constraints, especially when I'm trying to study for five exams next week. A lot of my classmates and friends have always asked me, why do you put yourself through this pretty much every midterm or final exam season? Now that the conference slash symposium is done now, I am going to actually call a friend really quick and then head to campus to start studying again. I did study quite a bit for my midterms during the breaks and the lunch break, but I definitely need to do more studying to prepare myself for the next five exams. Good morning! Today I am going to be studying for my five midterms this week. I cannot believe it's already here and that we are halfway through the term already. I don't know where the time has gone, but time just seems to keep getting faster and faster. Studying yesterday went really well. I just need to tweak a few things with my study strategy today just to make sure I actually know what they might test us on tomorrow for my livestock medicine class. We cover topics like therapeutics musculoskeletal, neonatal, and the urogenital system. So that's basically where our questions are coming from. So it's not too bad, but I'm still gonna look over the material today and probably start studying for large animal surgery that is on Tuesday. I made it back home. It's around 11 o'clock now and I've been studying since 8.30 this morning for my exams this week and I still don't feel any closer to knowing the information that I need to so it's been kind of a long day and I really hope I do well on my exam at least for tomorrow. I knew this week was already going to be difficult but honestly I have no idea how I'm going to keep this up for the next five, six days because I can't even relax after the midterm exams because I have my first surgery on Tuesday that's being graded so we don't really get that much time off with the new curriculum. I don't know how it is because I'm on the old system but this is rough. <laughs> and I was losing so much motivation today and the only way I got through it was discipline and continuously studying as much as I could. Even though I don't feel like I'm learning that much right now, I'm hoping with sleep tonight I'll feel better in the morning and at least prepared for my exam tomorrow. I'm exhausted and I have so many dishes to do and I have to shower and I have to get up again at 7.30 tomorrow to start studying before my exam at 1.30. I am back from the livestock medicine exam. Honestly, it was a very strange test and I really don't know how to feel about it or know if I did even that well. Can't really focus on that anyway because I have four more exams to go. 
but first I am going to take a little bit of a break to eat and then head back to studying. Today has been so busy with studying for tomorrow's exam. I have large animal surgery next and we covered topics like musculoskeletal castration complications, urogenital surgeries, and a couple of different drugs that we can use for large animals. All of the procedures sound alike though, so I'm going to have to be really careful on tomorrow's exam to make sure I know what is best for which situation. And it's a 40 question exam with only 50 minutes again, so it's not very long, which I appreciate, but that means I can only miss a few questions in order to keep the grades that I want. It's a lot of material for only 40 questions, and I'm so tired. It's already 11 o'clock at night, and I need to shower and do some dishes before my cleaning lady comes in tomorrow. We're getting through the exam week, that's all that matters. just finished taking the livestock surgery midterm exam and that was the most difficult exam I think I've taken here yet. It honestly was horrible and I'm so tired and I don't want to study small animal medicine for tomorrow. I was completely clueless on the questions because the questions were so lengthy and we only had 50 minutes to get this exam done and I took until the last 30 seconds to submit my exam because of how lengthy the questions were. Like it was just, it was very frustrating <laughs> and annoying to try to get through that exam and answer all the questions as best I could because I couldn't even have time to think about it. Even though I really want to go home and do nothing, I can't do that. I have three more exams to go, and I cannot <laughs> fail any more exams because I swear to goodness I got less than a 50% on that exam. There is no way I passed that exam, and if I did, by a small chance, the professor curved it. I feel like I studied nothing. It was a rough exam. I'm going to go back to studying and try my best for tomorrow's exam. It's a 45 questions and an hour. I don't want to do this anymore. I hate exam week. back from campus. The studying today honestly took me forever. The sections are just so long for small animal medicine and my brain is totally fried after the exam I had today. It just, it's been a rough day. And I struggled through it. I studied as much material as I possibly could for tomorrow's exam. Honestly, it shouldn't be that bad, but after having two rough exams in a row where I didn't feel as confident as I normally would. So I'm a little bit stressed out for tomorrow. I'm trying not to stress out too much because I need my body to function until Friday at least. And then I can crash and sleep. I was helping one of my classmates with the material as well, which Honestly, it was really helpful to like look over the material and pick out what I think is going to be tested tomorrow. So I really, really hope that these questions that I came up with are similar to the ones on the exam or at least covering the material that is on the exam. 
I did treat myself to some Indian food tonight, so that was really good. I am back from the small animal medicine exam. Honestly, that exam was a blur. It has been such a long day and it's not been fun at all. I actually had to yell at some term threes today to not steal our whiteboards because they were demanding that we give them a whiteboard and we didn't have a whiteboard to spare because we have an exam every single day. We still have two exams left, so we really need the whiteboard for tomorrow. There was no way we were giving up our whiteboard. And this term three student just wanted to argue and make a fuss about it. And I'm like, there are so many whiteboards on this campus it's very easy to go and find whiteboards in other locations. You don't need to ruin my whole morning. I hate being mean, but I'm at the point in this midterm exam week that I just don't care anymore if I sound mean. I really don't want to go back to studying, but I need to for my exam tomorrow. I'm just so drained and I want this exam week to end and I know it will, it's just term five is tough and I really hope that this changes for the new terms and it's not as difficult anymore. Obviously it is vet school. It's still going to be difficult in its own ways, but back to back to back to back exams is not the way to test our knowledge. I'm gonna head back to campus now before I decide to fall asleep because there's no time to fall asleep right now. I need to get studying again and prepare for small animal surgery. back from campus. Honestly, studying did not go so good tonight. I just wasn't able to retain much, but thankfully one of my classmates was able to help me with the gastric surgery stuff, so hopefully I'll do well on that tomorrow, but honestly, I'm so exhausted. I'm so mentally drained. I don't want to study anymore. I was literally falling asleep at my laptop today as I was studying. Small animal surgery tomorrow. It's a 50 question exam. We are given an hour and 20 minutes to do it in. So hopefully that's enough time. It should be, honestly. But I'm no longer certain with these exams anymore because some of them are written pretty lengthy or pretty short really depends on the professor. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. from the small animal surgery exam. It was pretty tough, but I thought it was a fair exam going over all the material we had. Um, there were actually a lot of duplicate questions in there for procedures, and I'm like, why? <laughs> there was so much that this professor could have asked, and he chose to focus on only a certain couple of conditions that we surgically treat. So it wasn't bad, it just wasn't the type of exam that I was thinking because we were tested on the gastric part of the body, esophageal, intestinal, GDV, and thoracic. So I was expecting a lot of different questions, but honestly we focused mostly on the gastric stuff. The start of the exam was not fun with um, the proctors. They were being very 
judgmental, it felt like, and I had a proctor sitting behind me the entire time that I was taking the exam, which was nerve-wracking. Usually they just walk around the room making sure that nobody's cheating, but they stared at me the entire exam. I am going to take a break now before I start studying for diagnostic imaging. Honestly, I've already cried a lot today, so... I just need a bit of a break, so I got myself some sweet potato fries and chicken nuggets because that is some of my comfort food on this island. So I'm gonna eat that and then get back to studying probably in about another hour or so. Overall, the exam I thought went okay. I do not have the energy to study anymore and I have to study for diagnostic imaging because I haven't even looked at the material in over three weeks. So I really need to study it, but I'll study it later tonight and all tomorrow morning, so hopefully I'll be good on the exam. Today is the last day of my midterm exam week. I was just so angry and frustrated last night that I actually left early from campus to just study at home for the rest of the day because I just wanted quiet and to be able to focus and I wasn't able to get that on campus last night. When I woke up this morning I was still really angry and frustrated with how this last exam is going to go because I don't feel ready for it at all. And I actually just finished looking over the Panopto videos again for everything for the diagnostic imaging class. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough because in my opinion, his Kahoot was not helpful that the professor provided as a review because it didn't cover any of the pneumonia patterns which will be tested on and that's where I struggle with so I'm just gonna spend the rest of the morning before the exam to study the patterns and looking at the ultrasounds and echoes to make sure I understand what's happening there and where things are placed. I couldn't find a lot of the images that the professor provided in his lectures because he didn't upload the most recent PDF lecture, so I couldn't take notes on anything. I'm frustrated, so I decided not to go to campus because I didn't want to cause more frustration with my friends and classmates. This has not been a good exam week. I don't feel like I did good really on any of these exams. I definitely didn't get an A on anything. And it's frustrating because if we had been given more study time, I feel like that would have helped. We didn't get study time. And that's the reality of vet school. You get so much material and you usually have no time to study it. You just have to learn as you go and hopefully re-remember things as you go through the years of vet school. And things like build on top of each other so eventually you will start learning it. It's just difficult in the moment to learn it because it's brand new information most of the time. I am going to take a little bit of a break. My exam is in about an hour and a half so I do need to get dressed and ready to go to campus and get this last exam done. It's a total of 55 questions and we get an hour and 30 minutes to do it in, which I greatly appreciate because I might be needing the time to look at these radiographs and determine what could potentially be wrong with these patients. I am back from the diagnostic imaging midterm. It was really difficult and I don't know if I passed it, I won't get the grades until next week, so I can't really worry about it right now. Honestly, I am not feeling very relieved with the fact that the exam week is over. It's just been so draining. 
It's been an awful week. I am going to relax today and start studying again on Sunday because I have surgery on Monday night. I'm just scrub nurse this time, so it's not terribly difficult, but still I have to make sure that I am helping out the surgical team as best as I can. I am going to end this midterm week off here. I'm glad it's over. Now I get to look forward to everything that's happening in the next couple of weeks, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video to get it pushed across the platform, and I will see you guys next week.